Namaste. My new video on anger. What is anger? Anger is a negative emotion. Anger is not only damaging to others, but to the self as well. When we are angry, both our words and actions become harsh. Most of the people become angry because things did not go the way they want, or there is a difference of opinion, or maybe the other person did not meet their expectations. When we are angry, we lose our sense of thinking logically and rationally. We become inconsiderate and insensitive. We try to use words that are hurtful and wound others. Always remember, your relationship may or may not last, but the wound lasts for a long time. Spending your precious energy, arguing, fighting with someone who is egoistically motivated is never going to lead you anywhere. It just is a battle of who is better, which is not going to serve you. You end up in giving your energy to an energy vampire who craves attention and unnecessary drama. I explained this to you with the help of a short story. This is the story of Bunty, Mr. Elephant, and Monty, the pig. Bunty was back walking back home to spend some relaxing time with Mrs. Elephant on a fine Sunday morning after taking a bath in the nearby river. On its way, Bunty sees Mr. Pig, Monty, walking towards it. Monty was coming as usual after relaxing dip in the muddy waters. He was covered in mud. Upon approaching closer, Monty sees Bunty moving out of his way, allowing Monty to pass while walking past. Monty made fun of Bunty, saying that he was afraid of him. Monty even told the other pig standing nearby the same thing, and they all laughed at Bunty. The herd of ele elephants who saw this, they asked Bunty amazingly, surprisingly, were you really scared or afraid of that pig? Bunty replied calmly, no, if I wanted to, I would have pushed him aside, but he was covered in mud and mud would have splashed on me as well. I did not want that. To avoid that, I stepped aside. That was the story of Bunty and Monty. The mud covered pig in this story is a metaphor for a negative energy. When you interact with negative energy, you allow your space to be infiltrated by that energy too. The evolved way to let go of such pity distractions and focus all your energy on things that matter. Even though Bunty must have felt anger, he did not allow that anger to evoke an automatic emotional reaction. Instead, he responded after careful examination of the situation, and that response was to let Mr. Pig go. If you are angry, move away from the situation or person. Practice silencing and calming your mind. Learn to accept situations and people. Divert all your attentions on things that matter and simply discard things that are of a lower significance. Finally, I just want to say, remind yourself that the first damage you do when you are angry is to yourself. That's it. As I said, I'm not an anger management specialist, but one more thing I wanted to say, when I was younger, uh, I used to get angry as well. Uh, and my dad used to tell me, that's funny, that in India we say, Gussa naak pe betha rehta hai, means you are always angry and anger sits on your nose. So he used to call, tell me that then your nose will become like a plateau. So, yeah. And then he used to tell me as well that nobody is going to marry you. 
that is when I was maybe seven, eight, nine years old, about that sort of age. So please do not beat yourself up with anger. Meditation helps a lot with anger. Over the years, I have gained tremendous patience level. I don't react to anything in anger. Um, a glass of cold water helps. Orange juice always helps as well. Just remove yourself from that situation. Think calmly. And I'm sure you will get there. Be Mr. Bunty, not Mr. Monty. Thank you. And again, I wanted to say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. And thank you for all the love and support you have given me. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much.